up. Winter. Winter's back. It's still here. And it sucks. <laughs> it's been fucking cold at night, man. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees next week. I know. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? Colorado's bipolar. I hate Colorado. <laughs> Always God been. Goddamn much, dude. It's gonna be fucking summer next week. That's bullshit. And then, then like Tuesday of next week, it's gonna be a, a dumping oh, of oh snow. Oh yeah. You know, oh yeah. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Right around the corner. And Watch. we get plenty of people who are fooled by the weather and they just don't understand. You always keep a jacket in the car. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And a sweater. Just and in you, case. when you walk out of the house, you're like. Oh, I gotta go back and get my jacket. That makes like, sense, right? Right. Yeah, we do that all the time. We'll Where grab a, we'll that? grab an umbrella. We'll grab like a jacket. We'll, we'll be all kinds of prepared, and people are looking at us like, "But you're wearing shorts." Of course, I'm wearing shorts. Man, it's going Colorado, to be beautiful until. But in five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> you just don't like the weather. You wait at five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I love Colorado. We are also doing the same kind of work right now. Hmm. We're both uh, body workers right now. Yeah. How's Little Bit coming along? Oh, she's looking good. I got uh, the under, the wheel well undercarriage uh -huh. purple. I worked on the tailgate Sick. for the 1979 Ford Bronco. Mm -hmm. uh, Big D taught me how to do some Bondo work, and cool. I'm fucking it up. Nice. <laughs> I'm doing a, In a good way? <laughs> doing a great job stripping and grinding. She's really doing good with that I stuff, am. too. I learned how to weld. Nice. I know, I know um, what is it, MIG or TIG? MIG. MIG, yeah. I'm going to learn how to do the lathe. What's that? Uh, it's welding. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow, you're learning technical stuff, Fuck too? Yeah. Damn, I girl. I am awesome. You're so smart. <laughs> what about you, Lucky? What have you been up to? This week or in Yeah, general? this week. Mm -hmm. This week. Yeah. Um, homework, mostly. Nice. I went to Keystone Monday and Tuesday night. How is it up there? Not snow. It was warmer than it was here. Hmm? And the <laughs> same amount of snow. <laughs> I mean, there was more snow accumulated, but I went up during the storm that was happening, and mm -hmm. there was about the same amount of snow up there as there was down here. Cool. Yeah. Well, for you, ladies and gentlemen that are uh, just tuning in, you're wondering who that was. We have a special guest here in yeah, the audience. Yeah, very special yeah. guest, man. Yeah, so let's roll into this. My name is Pixie. And I'm Mr. J. And you guys are listening to Next on Stage 1, Denver's. D best. We're not the only. No, we're not the only. We're one of the favorites. Adult Night nightlife podcast. Yeah. 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 We we talk about things from a stripper's perspective. Fuck well, yeah. actually, everyone in the industry, I guess, because we've talked to so many different people this season. We talked to a dominatrix. We talked to a uh, a bouncer. Yeah. Uh, we talked to a customer. Uh, uh, a only friends, so only friends yeah, girl. Only friends, yeah. yeah, that was our first one. So we, we we busted our cherry on that one. So today we have an old old old. I'm not gonna say old old because that's fucked up. Because I'm old. No, you're, you're old. old. I'm not old. You're old at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> but a friend from back in the heyday. Um, yeah. On here today, uh, Miss. Uh, Ruby Fox, but we're gonna call her Lucky because that's, that's how what we, we know. know her from. Yeah, yeah. So for those for those of the people that don't know you, you wanna tell everybody uh, how you got into the industry. Well, I had kind of always wanted to be a sex worker, and well, about a week before I turned eighteen, yeah. I uh, <laughs> emailed Mr. J here, and um, I think it was on my eighteenth birthday. Maybe the day after, because I think we kind of missed each other. Mm -hmm. um, I interviewed with you. I thought it was an escort agency. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, and I think you, you brought your I, boyfriend with you on your first it's interview. It's better than what I thought. Maybe. I, I thought I, When I first heard Jay's voice, I thought he was a white dude. I rolled up. Everyone da does. Downtown Denver house. I was all knocking on the door. And like, Come on in. I was like. Well, that's how you have to sell it, man. Uh, did, I, did I have a gun on me? You know, I didn't know what I was walking to into. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, tell us more. That boyfriend that I brought was yeah. the person that I ended up marrying. Oh, shit, you did? Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Obviously, many years later and yeah. many other boyfriends in between later. Right. <laughs> you go from eight, I am just shocked. 18 to, wow. I met him when I was 14. Holy oh yeah. Shit. yeah! Oh yeah! Wow! 
Wow. <laughs> but I got divorced, so yeah, well, that's not a thing anymore. Right. <laughs> wow. No, because I remember that connection, man. I just because she came in fresh. Right. She's fresh off the boat, dude. I was um, literally one day old, basically. Yeah, <laughs> totally. She was a great kid, and um, uh, I remember that your your boyfriend did come with you. He wasn't in the way or anything, but, you know, he did voice his concerns and what he thought was going on. Um, or, you know, we right. had to convince him is what I'm saying. Um, but when, when we brought her on, she felt, uh, compelled to kind of push her w way up to the forefront. Cause I wasn't sure she was going to work out back then. She was a little bit, a little bit meteor. You, ha you had the biggest boobs yeah. in the company. You were blonde, big boobed and bubbly. <laughs> and you don't, ha you didn't have it near as tight as it, as you have it now is what yeah. I'm saying. Okay, I so mean, yeah, just like, like even in this picture that we have of you, like, no, I, no, no, no. This, this, this is, is peak lucky, right? Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the thinnest I've ever yeah. been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when she first came in, though, she was um, baby, 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 yeah. baby stripper. Um, but I, I remember, didn't know how to do my makeup. <laughs> no, no. But I remember I the like day that she turned it on is when she dyed her hair this platinum blonde. Um, mm, that was the yeah. day that she turned it on, and she pushed herself into one of the sex shows. I'm not sure. It was one of the events that we were doing, and you really, 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 really wanted in, and you stepped up your game. Um, yeah, it was the Denver sex show. Was, was that it? at the same time as the it's Great the American that, Beer Fest. It's yeah. the one that I didn't get to go to. Good Maybe. memory. I just remember being in a cage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember do you remember That's we right. asked Jay about making the cage and stuff and how he had to wrangle it outside onto his porch and everything? <laughs> but it came out fucking nice because that cause, all right because all of your bars they were all um, PVC pipe things. Yeah. You spray painted them silver, so the cage looked. Building that thing was such a pain in the ass, dude. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> well, and wow. that was about probably two months after I started. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't have a car at the time, so I was taking the bus to and from, which means I was taking the bus 8 o'clock at night, 5 in the morning Such. with the weirdos. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Go you on. thought I'm I wasn't going to, that I wasn't going to hack it because I would have, because I had to take the bus. Yeah. Because it's too much work. But what you didn't know is that I have a workaholic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to sit still. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm, I'm an old man. I'm reliving this. Go um, on. So I was with the company for... About two years, and about a year in, I had started dating somebody who didn't want me mm -hmm. working for the company anymore. Yeah. Um, and I told him, I said, well, give me a year to figure out something else, because I can't just leave this kind of money. Um, oh, the money was good. Yeah. yeah. Actually, she was one, she had one of the best nights, that the title, for a while. I think, I want to say Domino. Back in back in the back yeah, in the day, yeah, yeah. day you know, um, I think Domino had something like eleven hundred dollar night one night, which back then was just a great night for how many parties you would get yeah. a night. Yeah, we were um, doing maximum four parties, maximum of of a night. Yeah, and and you're just ru we're just running everywhere, doing all kinds of things and answering phones and stuff. So and then lucky. Blew that out of the water, man. I think it was a twenty one hundred dollars. It was night, the night say. of this photo shoot. Was it really? Mm -hmm. yeah. I made twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, damn, it was nice back then. I miss those days. I really do. Yeah. Go on, go on. <laughs> I'm living. I'm reliving shit. Go tell on. Tell everybody the story, cause um, I did not remember this story. Hmm. Because uh, trauma and whatever, whatever, whatever happens with Pixie. P Sometimes Pixie doesn't remember stories. <laughs> and we're old. And we're old. Yeah, oh, man. I know I am. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're a baby compared to. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we we had a photo shoot. Maybe it was a Saturday. I don't remember. Oh, it was a beautiful photo um, shoot. Yeah. And the night before, Pixie had booked a party at a local hotel, some uh, group of friends were going to a concert and they wanted some entertainment after. Um, we went we went to the hotel and I think it was you and me and maybe I can't remember. I can't remember. Her I can't remember. Uh, Wednesday? Was okay. Maybe there? Yeah. Yeah, that was um, the same time. Oh, yeah, Thursday. 
Yeah. And there was maybe one or two other people. I don't I don't quite remember. Um, and we walked in and there was money all like covering the beds in the hotel room. Everywhere. Just every inch of the beds was covered. And we I think we talked about how wonderful that was and um we, we got a kick out of it, certainly. There there was so much when she told me this. Well no story. no wait, because that's the second night. Oh oh yeah. So the first night. Sorry. So Brain, gone. the first night I think we're there for five hours. So yeah. we get our the hourly plus whatever they tipped yep. us. Yep. Which was not just the money that they had literally spread across the entire bed. It was, I think at the end, they each gave us some amount. So we go home, and and we have this photo shoot in like five hours. Yeah. So I went to, um, I went somewhere, and I like bought crystals? extensions. Oh, no, no, I no. bought the extensions oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the photo shoot with the money that I had made the night before. Right. We went and did the photo shoot, which was amazing. It, yeah. All the photos yeah. came out really beautiful. Um, and then they called us back that night. They wanted us to come back to the hotel. So when we got there, I think maybe it was just you and me. No, there was a was Domino there. I don't remember. Um, I, I don't remember. There was a few of us, and there was yeah. maybe a new girl. Um, and we walk in, and they had laid money in paths Throughout the entire like hotel room in like swirls. Like and I like, remember it's money, 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 and then a swirl of money, and then money, 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 <laughs> and then swirl of money. And it was and we were at we were at a really nice, like fun hotel. Yeah. It was a trippy kind yeah. of yeah, it was a decor. Great, yeah, it was a great hotel. And we we're, we're like, sure, we're we're coming back because we had already had a really good night. And we're like, uh, you yeah. know. I, I think one of the girls that was there that night. She didn't. She wasn't there the night before, so she had missed out. Or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. One uh, one of the girls didn't get to go for the second night, but one girl did. I don't remember. I sort of. Well, it was a long time ago. The it was a long fucking matter. time ago. So at some point, these gentlemen ask if we want to take a money shower. Yes. And the shower in that hotel room is it's all glass. Like it has like the back wall which is tile, but then it's all glass. You walk into the bathroom and it's just giant. <laughs> Glass. Clear, yeah. Uh, shower. That's Room cool. enough for so, at least three of us. I do remember okay. there being at least three of us yeah, in yeah. the shower. And they're taking money and just sprinkling it in over All the, the top of the um, the shower. And it's and we're just naked in the shower. So and we're cool. like Dancing. picking up the money and like rubbing it on ourselves. And, and, and rubbing <laughs> ourselves on each other and just having a, I remember that. Having a great mm-hmm. fucking time. And... and and not having to worry about anything. Yeah, man. It was it was such it was a fun time with people that had already knew what what we provided. Yeah. And we were just like, here you go, here's some more money, here's some more money. And they just, just wanted to hang out yeah. with naked ladies. They didn't yeah. even want us to do anything besides yeah. just be there really. That is awesome. It was great. Yeah. It, it was. I made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was a there was a That's a good story. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, I, I didn't remember that story at all. There's so many things that I, I just. Well, so many things have happened. How yeah. can you store all yeah. of that? Were you were you with with me when I had to drive um, my PT Cruiser to my mom's house? I, don't I can't remember, remember you having a PT. Cruiser. I can't remember I who either. was in the group. But we we drove somebody somebody was with me. We were all dressed up in our makeup and we're driving in 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 the car and we get up to this light. And these guys are the younger, younger kids in, in the car. And they're like hooting, hollering, hey, ladies, woo. And we're, we're like, oh, 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 thank you. Because yeah, we, we were looking really pretty in our faces. Right. And we had like uh, our schlub clothes because you didn't want to get, you didn't want to wear like, you know. You didn't want to wear anything tight so you didn't have like waistband lines. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, I get it. We all had um, robes that we had to change from. So we didn't have the lines and stuff in our in our bodies for the pictures because some of I, I I was I was I was cute but I was getting chunkier like in this photo. And anybody who wears an elastic waistband gets a line. It doesn't yeah, matter how yeah. thick you are. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good photo shoot though. There was a definitely a lot of sucking in for me, but I <laughs> <laughs> I think for all of us. Yeah, well been. well this was this was Maybe just, not Domino. <laughs> right. Well a lot of this this was I remember, I would remember that I was on my way out of the company mm-hmm. at that time. Like, 
there there was a lot of things going on with my background and and you know there's a nail in the coffin that that happened one night that that really that really prevented me from wanting to stay there um and it it wasn't it wasn't the company it was it was my ex as well mm -hmm. and you you remember my ex should I yeah, should I no, tell the story? No. Do, what, which one? The 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 end night where I was basically working as much as I could because he decided that he was going to do scratch tickets. Oh. Do you remember that shit? Yes, I do. Do you remember That's that night? That's a good one. Uh, my a ex, cautionary tale. My oh, ex, fuck. who should not be named, decided he was working at a gas station and he's just scratching scratch cards. They're addicting. I, I was there for a little he, bit. He did more than $1,000 worth of scratch tickets while he was Working. at work. Yeah. And I worked my whole night shift to make sure his drawer... Balanced out in the, mo in the morning. In the right. morning. I had worked from the moment he told me to the moment that the whole thing was done. He still got fired. He didn't get a felony or anything, but it is. Yeah, I remember that night. You borrowed some money from me. It was, that was horrible, I was, man. I was angry. I was all like... I, you had every right to be. Like, I remember Stop. when you told me this story. I'm like, are you... Is, that's insane, man. Yeah, and at that point, I was I was done with the relationship. I was done I was done working. I was like, why am I doing so much work for, you know, for somebody who's going to do that yeah. to not only me, but to the company. I'm because not sure I was with the company when this happened. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think so. Because you, you were there for, for a long time. I was but there for about two you, years. You were, I think, I want to say like the fourth wave to come through. You know, we had generations of people. You, you were there for about you, three of them. You were there um, when, I believe you were there when this happened or you had had taken a break mm -hmm. because you were there after I left as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Does yeah. it matter? No. Anyway. Okay. No. <laughs> anyway. What, <laughs> what other stories do you have for us? What other uh, fun things that you know, happened? You know, because that one was awesome. Do you have any others? Um, yeah. I can't remember. I just I just. Yeah, you're just the a stoner over there. I had this client who lived near the tech center, mm -hmm. and he would see me about once a week. Okay. Um, for two or four hours, I can't remember. And we would just get stoned the entire time. <laughs> we just got... Super stoned. Um, we did have these kinds of shows. And and he was great and very respectful. Um, but I fell asleep one time because I was... <laughs> so stoned. I was so high. <laughs> and I'd probably gone there stoned. So. And were we blowing up your phone going, wake the fuck? You know, or For two what's hours. What's going on? Yo, For two yeah. hours. And um, my security, who was my security basically the entire time that I worked there, mm -hmm. as soon as he started... Um, at some point he was banging on the door and that's what woke me up. And I ran oh, down, shit. I ran downstairs like naked and was just wow. like, I'll be out in five minutes. I'm so sorry. And he didn't talk to me the whole ride home. And I get it. I'm sure I scared the bejesus out of him. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think you gave me a stern talking to you. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I love I love stories like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I can't remember them, but I can remember the echoes of those mm -hmm. nights. You know, you just say that I'm like, yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> um, Lucky did that shit. Uh, there was one time you and I went to a party, and I think it was just you and I, and there was three men there, and my um, my ex boyfriend and best friend was security for us. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the guys there was very, very drunk. And he expected more than we offered. Mm -hmm. And he got upset and he tried to take your purse. And I think I was in the other room. And I remember <laughs> running into the living room because I hear you yelling and I choke slammed him into the wall. Oh God, I don't remember that. No. And then I think <laughs> maybe I hit my my walkie-talkie, uh -huh. and my boyfriend came and just busted open the door, uh, and I, I'm standing there with the guy against the wall, <laughs> <laughs> and you've got your purse, and 
I told Max, I said, we've got it. <laughs> it's fine. But we thank you. It out. Thank you for the backup. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't remember that either. God. That's, that's really crazy. the only, like, bad experience that I've had in the entire time that I've worked in sex work. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which is now... How long? Well, I'm 30, which means I started in the industry 12 mm-hmm. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, so a decade, but I no, took a decade. break for a few years. I worked at an adult store. I don't know if that quite counts. It does. It does. It does. Um, yeah. Yeah. I worked at an adult store for about three years. Before that, I, when I left the company, um, I worked, I was the manager at a pretzel store. It was very mm-hmm. cute in my little uniform. That is adorable. I was 20 or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I worked at the adult store. And while I worked at the adult store, I also was a housekeeper. I worked at a dry cleaners. I deep cleaned, um, like a smokehouse up in the mountains in the middle of the night. (laughs) Um, and other random odd jobs. Were you just trying to figure out what you wanted to do? I just needed to make enough money and I wasn't making, I was drinking a lot too. (laughs) Did you have any, do you have any stories of working at the adult bookstore? anything weird yeah one, late night one time well i worked the latest they'd let me work was uh midnight and then eventually they let me work till two but um and there's a reason for that right i mean it's Safety. it's not safe yeah mm-hmm. to they Morning. they didn't let women work yeah. nights okay. overnight. did you okay. also have to wear a fake like engagement ring or no. something no. no my sister had to do that when she worked at uh at at one adult, of the, yeah, one yeah. Of the they month. wanted her to wear a ring, so when people hit on her, she could go. I did it sometimes, yeah. just because I didn't want to yeah. deal with people, but it was not a requirement for my uniform. Okay. <laughs> um, Trace in figures? fact, I I dressed provocatively to get better sales because I got commission. Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> um, why? Why? Yes, sir. You could have that movie. <laughs> Push this product. Yeah. It's smart. Um, I keep telling you to do it. I'm working on it. <laughs> the only, like, kind of weird or bad thing that ever happened while I worked there, um, I was helping a customer behind the counter, and this man was flashing me. And I couldn't quite tell if he was because I was focusing on the customer that I was helping. But I would kind of glance over, and he would close his jacket. Um, <laughs> and, and eventually, I... I was kind of like keeping an eye on him out of the corner of my eye and I I saw him flash me and I looked him straight in the eye and I said, do you think I'm impressed? Look at these walls. They're covered in dicks. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking great. Or fucking tip me because you're wasting my motherfucking time. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so he Oh, left. man. <laughs> I'm probably um, embarrassed. Burn. <laughs> So I was working about 60 hours a week between two different adult stores, and I broke up with the boyfriend who didn't want me working in the mm-hmm. industry anymore. And then... Even at the level of being a cash, cashier? No, 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 that was fine. Oh, okay. um, but him and I just, we just weren't working out. We just weren't right for each other. He's okay. a great person, but not my great person. Yeah. Um, so I'm working three jobs. I've moved out. I'm living with my parents for a few months because I don't, I don't have any money saved because mm-hmm. I'm drinking. working three jobs. Yeah. Well, I wasn't drinking that much okay. anymore. Um, it was down to about one night a week, which, because that's the only night, I only had one night we're, off. Yeah, we, <laughs> we were all young. We were all just partying, having mm-hmm. a great time. There was a lot of, well, there was there Well, was you drinking. got used yeah. to just making money all yeah. the time. Having you know? cash. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the roommate that I moved in with, she did sensual massage. And, you know, I'm sitting at work and I'm like, okay, well, she's made $500 today and I've made 50 Yeah. and I could be making that kind of money. So I started doing massage and I ended up sleeping with one of my clients. Um, not planned. I had decided to be celibate mm-hmm. um, and I just got worked up and slept with him and he wrote me a review and... It wasn't a great review, but it wasn't a bad review. Right. And, I mean, when I interviewed with you, I had wanted to be an escort. That's why I wanted to get in the industry. And so I just said, all right, well, I guess 
I guess is the universe saying, do this, it's time. Okay. Hmm. Also, I'm a bitch when I'm celibate. I do not suggest that. <laughs> so understandable. <laughs> right. So, so having a an interesting, like vanilla kind of company to work for, and then seeing seeing all the money that you did make, and then working your fucking finger literally to the bone, doing three different just junk jobs. That weren't ever going to get me anywhere. Yeah. When I started at the porn store, I was going to college. I was studying mm -hmm. microbiology. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be an epidemiologist. And you that still costs do? money. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, I wasn't making enough money to not get student aid. Okay. okay. I would. They. My, I got the Pell Grant. It was covered. Okay. Um, but, I, just was drinking a lot and I would fall asleep in my classes and I was working all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. So I was tired. Um, the, the class that I did the best in is the class I slept through the entirety of it. The <laughs> class I did the worst in was the class I was interested in most. So oh, yeah. I decided that awesome. I just was going to be done with that, that I, school wasn't for me. Okay. Um, and, but also these jobs weren't for me. I wasn't, I didn't want to work for somebody. I didn't, you know, I wanted to be on my own time and schedule. So after about six months of working at the adult store and also escorting, um, I decided that I had built up enough of a client base to be able to comfortably leave the adult store mm -hmm. um, so that I could be stable in my life. Okay, okay. Um, and the intention was to go to school while I was escorting. I said, well, what? now I'll have all this time. Well, Make your own I schedule. got married instead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got distracted. Uh, you know, dick is distracting. Wow, okay. <laughs> and that was, and that's the gentleman I know. You're, mm -hmm. you're a high school Yeah, so I got you know. married in 2017. Um... Later that year, my mom died. Um, I'm sorry. And then I kind of went down a rabbit hole for a little while. I was addicted to drugs and um, tried to quit many times. And then about a year ago, I, I did a lot of acid. <laughs> And the acid said... Allegedly. Allegedly, guys. Allegedly. Well, and I'd, I'd, started, <laughs> I'd started college again um, oh, okay. in August of 2020. Oh, wow. Um, so I'm studying accounting, which is great. Yeah. I love it. How does an accountant trip acid? How do you... Do, do you guys have raves? I mean, you don't seem like right, the type just of throw out numbers. Do that. To do and accounting? No, know. That, that, that party. <laughs> woo, woo, you know? Um, I mean, what you do to make money does not equate who you are. Yeah. That's deep. Let me ask you now, now mm. you say escorting. We had pound cake on the last episode. Yes. And she had a fluffy idea of what she believes is escorting. Now, what is your terminology for escorting? What I do is, um... I spend sexy time with men. Mm -hmm. I'm not going out to. You're events. not doing the dinner. I'm That's not, what she. I will, and I have, and right. I do, mm -hmm. but that is not the majority of. Right. Of she had a, a an illusion, you know, like the, like, basically when she thought of escorting, it was going to dinner with a guy. Slippery little suckers. And doing all of all of the boyfriends. She, she really had a fantasy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you know, okay. no, no disrespect to our previous she, guest, but she is young. Um, she had yeah. a she had a very uh, fantastical um, outlook of, of what that was or what it is. I mean, you know? the definition of escorting is the the it's date. selling a one's time. Yeah, it's it's companionship. So. Okay. Companionship could mean going out to dinner, or right. it could and mean watching also, a movie on your couch, right, or it could or mean it could other mean, things. Yeah, allegedly. Say it. 
Sex. Sex. Yes. Sex. <laughs> Fucking right. For money. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But but our previous guest was alluding to she's in control of that. You know what I mean? Um, where she's saying, well, I'm selling my time. You know, so she stays within legal parameters. Right. That's, you, you heard it in her voice. Um, but she was alluding to, well, yeah, that's. That's allowable, too, but I'm going to pick and choose who I want to do that with. Mm -hmm. So is that fair when it comes to working in this industry where um, you pick and choose the clientele or is everyone uh, allowed fair game to be accepted as a client? I think it depends on why you're in, why you're an escort. Okay. If you are an escort because you need to make money, because mm -hmm. you don't have any money, because you have an addiction, because you are, you have a shopping addiction, because yeah. you, whatever, whatever like, it is, yeah. it is less likely that you will turn down clientele. If oh. you're doing it because you enjoy it, mm -hmm. if you're doing it because you feel it's a way of life, yeah, I have clients I don't see. Or, okay. Well, they're not clients, I guess, but I have people that I don't see. I get a weird vibe or I don't enjoy my time with them. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to schedule with them again. Yeah. Okay. I think everybody has their own boundaries and what um, what is acceptable for them. And I don't think that there's any blanket rules that go around any of it, really. Mm, well, I don't want to... I don't want to be on the wrong path with you at all you know i just want to make sure there are definitions of the same you know because when i was listening to this young lady um it sounded like she was going to present herself as the legal definition of an escort which is when it comes to eyes of law i'm selling my time to right. be with you we're not talking about any any physical thing yeah, between right. me and you because we can't talk about that right it's illegal to sell and it and buy it it, it is. It's no, a victimless yeah. crime, but A, on the books, right. that it is what it is, okay? So what I'm saying is this young lady, I get the feeling that she's going to put it out there that she has the legal definition when she doesn't understand what that is right. because the client has a different way of coming about of what they're what they're expecting when they order from these types of girls. So um, explain that to them. Explain um, what type of person, you know, because I've seen these ads, you know. Um, are, are you the, um, oh, how do I even describe it? Well, I she wanna... doesn't even have an Instagram, a, a Twitter. She's all independent on her own. Right. Where you get to choose your clientele. Within the avenues right. that are available to her. Right. Which are restrictive right now. I mean, I the, the one that you, you're using is probably the like the last one, the last reputable one. I think that there's a few of them. Yeah. I choose not to use them because I'm busy enough without them. Mm. Between school and yeah. work and having a social life and, you know, finding myself or whatever. Um, I, I just don't need... I don't need the social media. I don't right. care about that kind of interaction. It's not right. real interaction to me. One-on-one, -on -one, person to person, face to face is real interaction to me. Okay. And I would rather somebody get to know me for me and meeting me than to see a meme that I post or yeah. like my sexy photos. So you feel as though you should just have your small little your personal right. client. People base. that she can trust or get to trust. Yeah get to know on a personal level i require references from everybody oh. that i meet how does that work like are they are they people that you've already danced for per se um, or how does that how does the reference work so a reference mm -hmm. is another provider so you've seen another provider oh, okay i okay. require i prefer to i will take one but i'll ask for other things as well like a picture of their id um okay Okay, for, and, for and their face, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they'll send me the information of another provider. Hopefully they've reached out to that provider and said, hey, Ruby's <laughs> going to shoot you a message. She's going to call you, yeah. Um, <laughs> right. And, mm -hmm. and then I'll reach out to that provider and say, do you have any info? Would you see this person again? Were they nice? Okay. Yeah. Did they you... shower? Whatever. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you please, please have personal hygiene when you're when you're t when you're going to spend time with another person. Just, just make sure that you're, you 
you, you got your tetanus shot, that you <laughs> you put on underarm deodorant, that you, you know. Yeah. God. All, the, all the things. Have you ever turned somebody down for being too stinky? I've told somebody to take a shower. Or I've suggested, why don't we take a shower before we begin? Aww. Aww. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just just because, here's a breath mint. <laughs> there you go, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Because, because yeah, you're 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 providing a service, and you want to make sure. Well, uh, you're gonna spend however many hours with the person if they stink, and there's or they treat you wrong, or or what are your yeah. cancellations like? Do you just like? I don't really get cancellations. Oh, because you're thorough, um, right? Because I'm thorough, and also if I get a cancellation, it's generally last minute. Either okay. the booking was last minute, and they say something came up which could mean that they've found another provider that they want to see or you know their partner got home or right they right. have to go it, back to work or whatever it is any of the <laughs> things that people would do you do a cancellation fee do you do any of that kind of stuff um no but if you cancel with me three times i won't see you anymore that's good to know yeah that, that means well, we're, that you're we're time not, and effort. We're not marketing her right now, right. are we? No. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. All, I've never done that kind of work. People I'm, are different, though. There are right. some people who require a deposit when you book if right. you're a new client. There are people who require 50% for to if you want to book with me again, you're going to pay me 50% of mm -hmm. our last session. When we, when we had the company, we mm -hmm. would get all kinds of people that would call up and they would either be jerking our chain around the, they would, their chain around. During, oh, yeah. You know, they would, they would send <laughs> oh, us on yeah. wild goose chases. Mm -hmm. And we had to make sure that, like, that the people that were that we were going to go see or we were going to send a girl out to, that we had to know that they were on the level. These are all kinds of questions. Like, when when somebody would call us, we we answered. No, we they're very similar. Yeah. They're very similar. It's, it's call girls. just the division is where your mind is right you know and i think everybody runs their business differently that too um i am a fairly easygoing person if you recall yes yes very <laughs> chill don't uh i don't yeah. let things get under my skin as much as possible i also yeah. take lots of vacations so i don't get burnt out <laughs> you've always been happy you've always been a happy person though you've always yeah. been bubbly mm -hmm. have you ever were you drinking back then yes well no, no you were no. you were smoking I smoked so much pot. Yeah. You don't you remember smoke You don't that. remember I had that those, right? uh, that case. It was like an old school Nintendo uh yeah. That was you. And I would uh, every she would night sit before there bed and clean the pipes and stuff. She and... was the one that cleaned my pipes. I yeah. thought it was yeah. Gypsy. No. I think Gypsy might have Maybe. too, but I every night before I went bed to bed, I would roll however many joints would fill in that little case which was about 10 plus 1. So that. when I woke up, I would smoke the joint my plus one joint. Right. I'd get in the shower. I'd smoke another joint when I got out. I'd walk to the bus stop. I'd smoke a joint. I'd ha smoke half a joint at the bus stop. And then I'd smoke a another the rest of that joint when I got to my transfer station. And then I'd get to your place, I'd do my makeup, smoke another joint. joint. And then by the end of the night, I've smoked all, I mean, I've smoked 11 joints <laughs> that day, plus whatever bulls were smoking or yeah, other joints you, that you were happening. Allegedly there, there, had always stuff. Allegedly, there was always allegedly some weed in the, right. in the place. You also, you also sometimes brought um, Daisy, your dog. I, yeah, Daisy passed away this I year. Loved, Daisy? I loved Daisy. Oh, Pitbull, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, she was so sweet. Um, we always had... She was sweet <laughs> for you. She One time she bit one of my roommates. She didn't... She, she didn't like guys, startled did she? her. She didn't like hats. Oh, she didn't like cats. Yeah. yeah. She would come around. She I got a new okay, dog. Right? She never she went was, after the cats. No, she? she was a good dog. No, yeah, she was good. Yeah. She was good. Yeah, she, she was a good dog. We had a litter of kittens at one point, and she was... The, the mama. Yeah, yeah she was the mama that. cat. Yeah. yeah. Or mama dog. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Cat dog. I missed that dog. That was a good dog. Yeah. She was way, a good dog. Way better than she who must but not be named. You remember her? Oh, Lord, I don't know if she was around when I don't think you were. she came back. I don't think you were. When she... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, were you there when she came yeah, back? Yeah, and she had the little... The little dog? Uh, yeah. The little rat dogs? Yeah. yeah. God, I hated that woman. terriers. Hated yeah. that woman. Allegedly. <laughs> no, I did. I really did not like her at all. And she had I... weird vibes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I got a new dog. <laughs> you got a new dog? Yeah. Stepped right over that hurdle, right? Meow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
I okay, have, you got I, a new dog. I have three. Yeah? We could show pictures to one another. No, well, please later. don't. Oh, later. Later. God, yeah, no. later. We'll yes. do photos. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll reminisce on that later. <laughs> so what else have you done? You know, since then. So th this is your own personal business. You're going mm -hmm. to school. Can we ask what you're studying? You said accountant, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm finishing up my bookkeeping certificate this summer, uh, or this spring, actually. And then I'm going to do my tax repair cert cert certification Okay. Uh, in the fall. And then um, I'm working on s starting my business right now. I'm nice. Gonna, once I... I got divorced last year, so I'm, I still need to do my name change, and because of the situation, uh, you know, the Social Security Administration is closed, so I have to... Uh, Jump through it's, hoops. It's yeah. hoops, yeah. So uh, once I get my name change completed, uh, I will incorporate. Nice. And uh, start my bookkeeping business, and then by next spring, I'll be able to do taxes. Wow. Yeah. Legally. <laughs> okay, man. I can do taxes now, but yeah. legally I'll well, be able yeah, to do the next do your, do your own taxes <laughs> all the time. Um, but yeah, that's great. No, it's, it's great. Do, is there anything that you you wish that you like you could tell a new stripper, a new entertainer, somebody that wanted to get into this kind of well, our kind of work? Is there anything that you wish you could tell a baby stripper that they could benefit from um and, and what and what would you say to that baby stripper because what you're doing now is te totally different than what you were doing when you first and when you were out. a baby stripper yeah i think that the answer is probably the same mm -hmm. um which is don't do it alone and you know have a have a team like mm -hmm. i had you y'all yeah. like you helped me hone my my skill and my yeah. instinct and <laughs> we all um, did this shit together didn't we and um, and trust your gut. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Right. Your money money is not worth your life. No. Yes, it's, it's totally true. I you think, know, no one got hurt in all those years. I think you Isn't were there. Awesome? I think you were there for that. Uh, there. Do you remember the time we went allegedly to? <laughs> <laughs> I say allegedly all the time. Allegedly, we're never, she we're says allegedly. never too sure what we can get away with right. saying on here, you know? Because <laughs> once it's on out there, it's that's it's documented there. record, man. Uh, allegedly, so <laughs> so there there was this this time that I went with Will and another dancer, and I can't remember who was our other driver. We went to a rec center that was being built. Does that sound familiar? No. Or the firehouse? Did, you, did either of you do the firehouse? I didn't do the firehouse, but I did the rec center, and uh, the guys were. Uh, it was. It was. I don't remember the dancer that was with us, but we basically ran to the car, naked in shoes. It was no, Wednesday. You're... It was Wednesday. Okay, so when we get Wednesday, y'all are insane. When we get that, when we get, when yeah, we so get her get in, here, in here, I gotta have her tell that story. We'll like, see if we can get one. The, both of them in here at the same time. Yeah. Both, both Wednesday and um, her her blonde twin. One time, you know. Wednesday and I were out in a call, and uh, we went over the rules, and they decided that they weren't okay with that. Um, so yeah, because we a go lot home. of people didn't like our rules because yeah. yeah. we were like, well, they had a a what I'm gonna describe as a platter on their oh, kitchen yes. table. Oh yes, and go it ahead. Was, no, go ahead. It, it had a, a mountain of cocaine. I would assume an ounce of cocaine broken Come up. Come on. Yeah. Y'all never told me these things. Wednesday was pissed. And she bent down. Because she was a reformed this, this was, addict, this, right? This, this was but for, this, is, this is separate from that. Okay. Um, yeah. This she was, was just pissed. They didn't want to give us a cancellation fee. We'd driven it was downtown 45 Denver. minutes or something. Yeah. It was far. And she bent down and she blew as hard as she could and just coke everywhere. Yes, it was. <laughs> I, I remember this story. One time, her and I went. Uh, I think maybe it was Breckenridge, and uh, it was two guys and her and I went up there, and I think they grew weed because they rolled this joint. I'm not even kidding. It was a foot long and an inch and a half in diameter. <laughs> Um, and 
and we we smoked it. <laughs> <laughs> we were yeah. we were very high. It was uh, great. And then our driver drove us home because we were high. Obviously, well, we yeah, drive. yeah. Allegedly, who was your favorite dancer that you used to work with? Which one of the girls? Mm, I don't know, cause I kind of, I mean, I I get along with everybody, right? Yeah, I don't like did. everybody, yeah. but I, lo- I get along with everybody. Yeah, you got along. With everybody. Um, Gypsy and I were friends for a number of years. Yeah, we had a falling out a few years ago, but, um, but I think she's she's back on track a little bit, and I'm yeah. back on track a little bit. Yeah, Ni- yeah, neither of us are without fault in that Man, situation. None of us are perfect. Um, but, but her and I lived together. Her and I, I mean. For years, so in that wild, the same relationship still, still from all those years ago. <laughs> right. So many oh, of yeah. us still talk. That's awesome. No, that's that's crazy that's, shit, man. It's good stuff. Do you we re- need to do a reunion and get <laughs> shit faced. Do you remember the training video? Oh, Dave? Lord, shut up, Pixie. <laughs> Uh, I vaguely remember it. Yeah. Do you remember me having to sit you down? Pixie will make sure you watch the training video on the VHS tape. Now here's <laughs> fuck you, Jay. <laughs> now here's the thing. I've, There's I've a black hints, and white TV I, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> the little thing hey, this big. we may do with what we had. God damn all it! All thirteen inches of it. <laughs> and hence, we have gotten rid of all copies. I think of that goddamn training tape but every couple of years the fucker resur- resurfaces it just pops up you know I'll, I'll put something in and fuck that fucking it. training tape <laughs> hilarious though oh god I hated it I hated that video and I hated making I wish girls, I had it now hated making girls watch that video cause it was it was line gra- and this is what I remember line grady and like oh it was this is mid nineties. Come looked, on, give me a break. It looked like it was made in the nineties. It looked like it was like you know. Yeah, I was high tech for my time. You know, it, it looked like uh, the pizza delivery guy knock on the door. Fucking, <laughs> like, I got you. Yeah, I got your man. sausage, baby. Kind of. Th- I'm like. See what Bob just did there? Yeah. Don't be Bob. Yeah, it was just yeah. voiceover. You know, you get the you have the guy sit on the couch and the and the girl and she's got her baby doll outfit, which was terrible. You see and, what she just did it's there. Grainy. Don't so, do that. These are the things you need to know yes. when you're when you're doing your lap dance. Yes, and I'm like, ma'am. Oh God, it was so. So if you've never seen a lap dance, sit there and watch that shit because you know what you you know what ex- what what's expected now. I think Don't she, get you, me grief for that. I was the only company with the training tape. Do you remember the time? I think you were drunk. I was usually drunk. <laughs> you and you and Some Gypsy had a um, lap dance contest, and I was I, the, I was the he judge. Used to, he used to oh have dance God, contests right. with Domino, like yeah. dance offs. Maybe it was. No, I think it it was definitely no, it was gypsy. gypsy. Yeah. yeah. This particular uh, instance, and it was very awkward for me. <laughs> well, gypsy did not do a lap dance, dude. Well, I love her, but <laughs> I was better. <laughs> you were still in your prime. You were still. Doing... She would still argue with me to this day on that, though. You were still available for. Private party. Yeah, at that dude. Time. I yeah. was a kid. I was so fu- I have. I was didn't know what the fuck I was doing, you know. And I think we did pretty well for being kids, working hard. We made yeah. good money. None of us got hurt. None of us went. All right. Two of us went to jail once. Okay, that's a, that's a story for another time. Do you remember the time you were driving my car and you got pulled over ah. and you called me up and you said, <laughs> you asked me. Do you have any drugs in the car? <laughs> and I said, I, I shouldn't. And, and you said, well, the cop seems to think you have meth in your car. Yeah, dude. And I said, well, I don't. Because so that wasn't one of those, that's not. That wasn't a thing. That wasn't I wouldn't do that. I was driving you. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. And, and I said, I said, I to even get know out. the area where it we was, were. It was over. like a little like Prius or something. It was, it a, was little... a Pontiac. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I said, I said that you should turn it on the police officer and go, 
you you should you should basically say I did not Sweetheart. stand up on my rights yeah, like, at all. I, I should have like, really. I just say, did I was you like, let them search the car? Um, yeah. <laughs> Good yeah. luck. That yeah. car was trash. Now, <laughs> now I know not to do that kind of shit. But I remember because he was being kind of a dick. He was. You know, and it's not my car. But we had. But and I'm no lucky, so I'm like, yo, man. But we had business cards, and you handed in the business card. Yes. And after he ran the business, you know, he, no, he was being a douchebag. He was calling people and everything. We yeah, because he knew what came up on his computer. He knew who the fuck we were. Yeah. There was there was nothing that he no. could, yeah I was all like just tell just tell him you're gay Jay just tell him that that this is a, this is you know you're driving this kind of car because uh, you're feminine side and you're like no it was I, my boyfriend's car yeah, I know. <laughs> and he's all like don't no, stop Pixie just stop just like stop and he would just like stop it Pixie and that happened every time I drove one of the girls' cars that's yeah, why I hated it driving was, they were cars. so girly we all had girly ass fucking cars I would either fuck up one of your cars that car was great it had a <laughs> V6 no it was, it was not no it was a great car powerful and it was I, not feminine I think that's girly. the reason they pulled me over though they said oh uh, you don't own that car <laughs> I'm like no I don't sir but it's not stolen I can call the <laughs> owner yo lucky for real not going trying to go to jail tonight <laughs> Yeah, if anything, there would have been maybe a little bit of weed, but I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. experimenting then, with when, anything then, so. No. Yeah. Back then when it wasn't legal. <laughs> weed? Yeah. I had my med card. No, it was. I like, didn't. It, well, yeah, but it was in my car. It, it, was, it was legal at the time because. It was uh, No, it yeah. legalized in 2014. It became recreational in yeah, 2014. Yeah, because I. Th- when and I, I left when the I, company in 2011. Yeah, when I, when I stopped the company. Uh, I stopped working there in 2017, right? I have no idea. Five years no, ago? No, not 2000. Yeah, that doesn't... Uh, two, 2007 is when I stopped working at the company. And then you came back. Yeah. Because yeah. I started in 2009. Yeah. Because that's when I turned 18. Yeah. There was that, <laughs> that window of time that I, you know. You had just come back on when I, or you were... About to. I don't know. I don't a lot remember. of y'all came back. I, it was a lot of back I was there. I was there I think for the you company left, for but years. You still popped in every once in a while. I think that I left and you called me in for a yeah, I think I did. Yeah. party or something. Yeah, I think you're right. What was your favorite kind of um, calls to go out on? Because hmm, I remember that you started getting into the Dom work. Jay was... Jay was allowing. I was. I was super jealous. I was like, I want to step on men. I want to kick him in the ball. Oh, yeah. I didn't and want like, you to I do it because she trampling. was such a nice girl. I'm like, don't fuck that one up, dude, with that dominant <laughs> shit. I, I was like, yeah, give it to me. And you're like, absolutely fuck not, no. Pixie. You couldn't. He hated when I stepped on people. He hated when that one weird guy that like getting kicked in the balls mm-hmm. would come. He. No, absolutely not, Pixie. You cannot do that. Do you remember the pair of heels that I got specifically for that man? No. They had little spikes all over them. (gasps) Yes! I lo- I loved it because we were we were just so pretty and cute and we were bubbly and we we're just like kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh guy. yeah, I definitely had like people who wanted to be trampled and uh, wow. yeah, I like the CBT. I was drinking way too. And, uh, I was drinking way too much during these they years because I don't they, remember any of this. Those kind of calls. You didn't want to know about no. those calls, so I, that's yeah. why I don't remember it. Yeah, I didn't like those it. calls. Were so much fun and mm-hmm. so easy to do because there was like. Little to no contact on these guys. Yeah. It's they didn't want any physical contact no. besides a and your it's, foot in uh, their ball. Yeah, and it's, and it's, <laughs> fuck. My my quickest was seven minutes. Yeah, I made a guy run from. Thank you. I'm done. Yeah, tugboat. You love bragging about that. <laughs> and you're that's, like, that's not a braggable you're thing, like, Pixie. Pixie, these are the rules, and you're fucking them up. I was like. <laughs> And I bet you people still pay for that. Oh, yeah. They certainly do. Do they? I mean, I don't really... What are your services? I'm more of a submissive, and mm-hmm. I don't feel comfortable doing that with my clients. Um, so I don't really do BDSM. I gotcha. will do a little bit of kink um, or fantasy role play. Yeah. Um, but I don't... I'm not going to be submissive for a client, and I'm not very comfortable being dominant. Mm-hmm. So... I you don't it, like being a bitch? I get it. No. 
Oh, she's I, too nice. I, guess I know, she's not right? Like pixie. That's awesome. She's not like just like rah. She's still nice after <laughs> all these years. That's so awesome. I know. Um, sometimes I'm I'm in the mood to be dominant, but it's usually with a what I call a recreational partner. <laughs> yes, a partner. recreational yes. partner. I love it. Friends with benefits, <laughs> That's kind of thing. Great. <laughs> See, this is the grassroots shit that I was talking about. Did yes. all right when when you were. You always had your ex as somebody that was there while you were working for the company. Not always. Did, were, did you ever engage in the hookup that I told nobody ever to engage in? Oh, she did. Yeah. She did. Yes, she did. Did you hook up with anybody in the company? Yes, she yeah. did. See? I know if all. If you're hooking I, up with people, I know all don't do it without, without me being able to videotape it so we can make more money on the end. You know what? You're I so hate, nasty. I hated. Like, <laughs> you guys are gonna fuck shit up. There were so many hookups in that co- in that company, dude. Everybody was fucking everybody. Not I me. only hooked up with uh, the one driver. Yes. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't sleeping around. At least not. No, I was no. In the company. no. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely him. Yeah. See anyone else? No. No, I but you're like, like, no, working. it's her. Well, yeah, but I was dating my boyfriend before he started working there. Yeah. That doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. lived together. Yeah. I like that guy, too. I liked yours, too. My ex? Yeah. No, I didn't like him. I liked him. I didn't him. like him. He, he didn't want, uh, I didn't like any of my exes. <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> mm. I, it was just, it was weird. Like, it wasn't bad. Because I was able to make a lot of money and pay and be very comfy, yeah, in, in the and have the yourself. flexibility to be with the kids, right, and... right, and, and and not worry about what I'm doing. And I didn't have to work seven days a week. I could work for the company three nights and be okay. Yeah, but that was a different time, Pixie. That it doesn't apply now. No, I mean, you know, it sucks. Yeah, you know, everything's online. You know, yeah. are you doing anything online? You're not doing anything online, are you? You're not a webcam girl. I've is thought Diamond of that doing that. online? I haven't talked to Diamond. Oh, yeah, she's Diamond, our dominatrix that we got you in here. You know Diamond. Okay. Yeah. No, okay, she's like, okay. <laughs> no, I yeah. remember her, but yeah. it's yeah. been 10 years. Yeah, so. yeah. Diamond. Um, she, she's doing online. She's got a, her own little dominatrix oh, nice. corner yeah. of the world, you know. Did she's, you dip into that? I have not. I've thought about uh, expanding to that because that's something that I could do when um, times are slow or I'm just not actually up for dealing with people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't have any video equipment, so I've, I'm mm. going to pay my car off first and then, yeah, take care of my real life stuff and then yeah, if I yeah. decide so that I want to do it. Where Besides the accounting... You, you said you're going to open up your own business. Mm-hmm. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, because it's, it, are you going to, are you going to continue what you're doing? Are you going to completely transition out? Uh, how do you see yourself in five years? Well, in five years, hopefully I'll have finished my master's and com- done my CPA uh, licensing. Yeah. Um, I am looking to transition out of sex work, but like I have a f- few people that I really enjoy spending time with Mm -hmm. um and I'll probably continue to see a select few people okay Okay. now is there a current uh mister in your life that is uh permanent like I mean permanent is relative right right (laughs) and how Uh, do they feel about this uh they're fine with it um we're uh polyamorous so Um, there's not any, uh, it's not possessive love. And so the rules are laid as, out and yeah, we have our rules mutual. and I'm being safe and, um, well, that's and he good. understands that yeah. and I ask, mm-hmm. answer any questions he has and, uh, honest communication. I right? take a shower and brush my teeth before I see him, <laughs> <laughs> but I which is just common it. courtesy, right? <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and. Realistically, just your ex is the only one that was really controlling over, over what you were doing while you were in the company. Um, the ex from yes from forever yes. ago, not my yes. ex-husband. Yes. Um, I think he, the issue was he 
was not comfortable with himself mm. and had some insecurities about what I was doing. Um, and it had less to do with what I was doing and more to do with where he was at mentally. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I don't think he had, I don't think he has a, like a moral opposition to it. Um, my ex-husband actually liked it. He wanted, he would like to, me to tell him stories about the interactions that I had. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think maybe that wasn't entirely truthful of him. I think that there was some jealousy there. And again, I think that that was in, in his own insecurities. Um, I love what I do, right? I wouldn't right, do right. it if I didn't. Um, but I, I do treat it like a business. And while I can have a connection with a client, we're friends. And that's that's where that ends. Right. Even though there's a physical component to it, my connection with my clients is as friends. And I think maybe my ex-husband didn't or couldn't understand that. Okay. Uh, and did it, did it get, uh, I'm going to go into the, the situation, did it get more restrictive when the situation happened? Do you think that could have um, been a... Before, so like January and February of 2020, my ex-husband and I were having some issues and we both decided to kind of kick rocks. Okay. I went to Portland and he went to Florida. Oh, as wow. As far away from yeah. each other as we could be. And um, completely different uh, yeah. realms too. Florida is nothing like yeah. Portland. Um, and then the situation happened. Uh-huh. And we like, we had been talking about divorce before and okay. we were having a real tough time. And we decided to come back together because we were afraid that we would never see each other again at this time. They were talking about closing the borders between states, um, and we'd both driven to where we were. Uh, So we came back to Colorado, and we tried to make it work. Part of our issue was drugs, and, uh, and, you know, during most of the situation, the borders were closed. And so there was no drugs coming in, so we were sober, and it was great, and we were happy, and just smoked weed and ate pizza and watched movies. It was wonderful. Uh, And then the borders opened back up, and uh, we both kind of fell back into our vices, and uh, then things weren't great. Um, And last May, I did a bunch of acid, and the acid told me to knock it off, that I was trying really, really hard to move forward. Uh, I was doing school. Um, I have a 4.0. Jeez, I'm, uh, yeah. Just, nice. I'm trying really, really hard, and I was letting cocaine distract me from from the goals that I had and uh, the acid or the universe or whatever it, whatever is. it is that you that you believe in uh, said, knock it off. You need to straighten out or you're not going to get where you want to go. Yeah. Um, and where and do you want to go? At this point, I want stability. I want to be sure that, uh, you know, if and when the world ends, I am able to to keep on living. Um, you know, if I break my foot, that I knock on wood, that won't happen. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but that I'm I'm still going to be able to make money doing right. what I do now. If I hurt my if I got hurt or for some reason couldn't work. I, I mean, I have money saved, but it's not going to support me for that long. I need to have mm-hmm. a stable career. So that that's where I want to yeah, go. Yeah, and accounting's like, that, that's stable. good. It's good More money. It's more stable. Yeah. It's well, the I'm, second I'm, oldest well, profession. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> As we're going up against the world's oldest profession, I mean, it's always going to be here. Accounting yeah. is the second oldest profession. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. It doesn't matter what we use for trade, we're always going to need to count our beans. Yep. And we're going to need somebody who knows how to do it. Well, Lucky, this has been an awesome talk with you. Yeah. But we don't call you Lucky anymore. We know what is your now stage your name, your pseudonym. I'm Ruby Fox. Ruby Fox. Mm-hmm. Ruby Fox. So how did you come up with Ruby Fox? Well, I was Dixie Doll for a long time. I don't remember that. Well, no. it was not a time <laughs> we were. <laughs> Mr. J probably remembers that. But mm-hmm. um, I was Dixie Doll for a long time. And during 2020, I it kind of 
came to my attention that the word Dixie has some negative connotations that I don't uh, ascribe to. Okay. Uh, I'm the ignorant. Deep South. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, uh, it's like I'm, in, I'm like it, yeah. things aren't yeah. clicking up here. Um, the, the hamster has fell off the, the wheel. World's changing, yeah. Pixie. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so last summer after I quit doing cocaine. Uh, I decided, uh, I turn, was turning 30, um, I dirty, decided dirty. I needed a, a more grown-up name. Yeah. Uh, and so I chose Ruby Fox. Ruby Fox, it's cute. It's fucking cute. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in here and, and reliving the <laughs> old times with us. I know. It was you. nice to catch up. Yeah. You're sweating like a mad hound in well, here Well, it's because you're wearing your Mr. J merchandise. I had to wear it today. I love this hoodie, but I didn't know I was going to get this hot. It's still fucking winter. Right. And you got the heater going. Is the heater on? Yeah, I hear it. That's Fuck. Like warm in here. Yeah. Well, and yeah. the light. And the light. Yeah. And I'm stupid. <laughs> and you've had a drink, which I had a couple raises and, your and maybe and maybe allegedly a legal stop since here in Colorado pot because it is legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're nobody adults. told me. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you came in. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah of course. You Thank know, you for we me. gotta we gotta exchange uh, phone numbers and connect. Well, I messaged you on Instagram. Did you? I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't check my Instagram. Well, Mr. J wasn't answering his phone, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Today sorry, was, man. He me on Instagram. So let me give you my phone number. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I keep. Yes, please. Please do. Hey, my computer's fucked up right yeah. now. Yeah. So, um, things with the show. Um, we are four. Four more, away. Four more episodes away. Yes. In the Down and Dirty season yes. three. Mm, down and Dirty. And I'm so excited because. Three of the next three episodes, we got. Do we have another guest lined up? Uh, we're supposed to get Journey in here. She's. Uh, yeah. We have we'll Anissa. See. Anissa's gonna come in. Okay. Are we sure on that? Yes. You know. Okay. Yes, Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna message her and make sure that we're still on point. For Look, that. keep in mind that we're still dealing with strippers. Okay. <laughs> Stripper time. Yeah. Stripper yeah. schedules. Yeah. So, so. We will see if we can get Journey, Anissa. Are we still talking to Brandon? We're still talking to Brandon. Brandon is having a life issues happen to him. Poor okay. Thing. And that that's really what's happening to all of us. So yeah. we're we're growing, we're adapting, we're moving forward. Um, do you have any shout outs for the show? Uh, no, but you know, I I wonder I'm wondering if we can do a little bit of bonus footage because you know what we didn't talk about the Las Vegas brothel. <gasps> oh yeah. If you wouldn't mind there. after this episode, we'll get a. We'll get a quick. Uh, I've story always wanted here. to know a little bit about Las Vegas brothels. Yeah. Well, so uh, it's not legal in Las Vegas. It's legal in Nevada. So the county of Las Vegas, it's still legal. So okay. what we're gonna do is have you hold the story. Yeah. And we're gonna wrap up the show, and then we're gonna have some bonus footage. Yeah. So, Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Forget shit. Huh? Yeah, you do. It's I'm okay. usually high. As you are, currently. <laughs> but you love me like I that, right? I do love you, Jay. I okay. love you too, Lucky. Love you too. I'm, I'm glad that you came in. Yes, too, really. thank you. Hey, yeah. folks, look, our numbers are a little bit down. I'm not bitching. I'm not bitching, okay? <laughs> He's but bitching. Check it out. He's bitching. <laughs> if you know a stripper, if you're hanging out with a stripper, if you're fucking a stripper, hey, if you and now if you know escorts... <laughs> I would include like, them in the mix too. I would like a, a roller derby girl. Yeah, ooh, that I'd love that. If we are still looking for a roller derby girl to come in, if you're living in Denver and you're an entertainer, we want to have you on your on the show and tell your side of the story. And we need a Denver corn girl. What's a what? corn girl? You know what a corn girl is. We were talking about corn last episode. Like Misty Hayes. I would like to get Misty Hayes oh, on here. Oh, an but adult have... ex. Yeah. Corn. Oh, right. okay. Corn. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're Prawn. Yeah. yeah. Prawn. 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 Is that like, what we're good? To... No. no corn, I like corn, corn is better. funnier. Okay, yeah. but prawn is like a thing. What? It's like is a, it yeah, really? It's, it's a, a typo. Cr- for... it's, a, it's also a crustacean. A prawn. <laughs> That's what I would think. God damn it. Look. 
I'm old, folks. You are old. I'm resistant <laughs> to change. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So, yeah, what we're doing is we want you guys to help us share this out to people that that would be interested in this fun, interesting concept because we are we're getting ready for season 4 and yeah. it's going to be super. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hint hint. Hint hint That's season awesome. 4. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixie and I am Mr. J. And thank you for we're listening very sweaty, to Sweaty Mr. J. God damn. Sorry. I know. He messes up my exit all of the time. I was going to say thank you for listening to Next on Stage 1. Well, say it then. I just did. Talk hard, Denver. Bye, guys. <laughs> thank you, Lucky.